Namaste. Welcome to all of you who are joining me today. My name is Lisa and this is a all levels vinyasa practice. Today the focus will be on quadruped and planks position. Quadruped is uh, also called all four position or tabletop. So we will start with in a quadruped position and then progress it into different variation of planks. So to start off, let's come into easy seated position. I prop my hips up by sitting on a folded blanket. You can use a yoga block or a seat cushion to do the same. And wiggle your hips slightly, finding your sitting bones. Spine neutral. Roll your shoulders down and back, keeping them relaxed. Hands uh, on top of your knees. Press your head back and chin down towards your chest, looking straight forward before gently closing your eyes and start to follow the rhythm of your breathing inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils focus your attention to the tip of your nose and observe the movement of air entering and exiting the nostrils place one hand on top of your sternum and the other hand on your lower ribs keep your eyes closed and slide the upper hand up and the, low, the bottom hand down and sliding your hands one up and the other down as if you are opening sliding a window open you are opening the windows of your chest opening the center of your heart and by doing so feel your ribs expand and open keep that expansion and openness as you place your hands back on top of your knees and open your eyes drop your right ear towards your right shoulder And then bring your head slightly forward. And gently bring your head back to the center. This time drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. And bring the head slightly forward. Head back to the center. Tilt your chin up, looking up as you bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Let your arms hanging relax by your side. And then press your shoulders down as you bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, chin up. Shoulders up. Exhale, chin down shoulders down continue for a few more breath cycles and bring head back to the center 
shoulders back into neutral position open your palms spread your fingers palms facing forward and close your finger one at a time starting from your pinky ring middle index and thumb and open starting from the thumb index middle finger ring and pinky and again closing one finger at a time starting from your pinky finger and thumb and open starting from your thumb index middle finger ring finger pinky and one more time and reverse so we will close one finger at a time starting from the thumb index middle finger ring and pinky and opening starting from pinky ring finger index uh, middle finger index and thumb and repeat that two more times and release and let's move on into a quadruped position or all four so align your wrist under your shoulders and your knees under your uh, hips start by finding neutral spine so lift your spine up shoulders away from your ears ribs in press your head back chin down towards your chest looking into the space in between your hands Press your finger pads and knuckles and lift the base of your palms off the mat and lower and lift and lower and keep going for several more repetitions. And press the entire palms down, circle around your wrist. and reverse the circle and turn your palm so that your fingertips pointing out uh, towards the long edges of your mat and again circle around your wrist Reverse the circle and turn your palms again so that the fingertips pointing towards the back and circle around your wrist. You might observe a smaller range of motion here, which is totally normal and reverse the circle and turn the palm so that the fingertips pointing forward find your neutral spine keeping your arms straight which means not bending at the elbows squeeze your shoulder blades towards the midline and spread your shoulder blades away from the midline squeeze and spread and keep going for several more repetitions if you find it difficult to find the movement of your shoulder blades what you can do is sit back on your heels arms forward palms facing forward fingertips pointing up and then from there squeeze your shoulder blades back to and i mean towards the midline and then spread and squeeze 
and spread. So do that a few times and come back into all four position and see if you can find that movements in all four position. And release back into neutral spine. Next, you will send your hips back towards your heels and claw the mat with your hands, with your uh, fingers and palms. So the action that you want to do is this way, but because there is a mat under your palms, what it, what it will become is the movement of like clawing down into the mat. Inhale, all four. Exhale, hips back as if somebody pulling your hips towards the back and you are resisting being pulled back by clawing down onto your mat. Inhale and exhale. Two more times. Inhale, all four. Exhale, hips back, claw the mat. Inhale and exhale. And come up back into all four. And next, you could sit back on your heels and arms by your side. Point the fingers towards the back, palms down. And attempt to lift your fingers up, bringing the back of your hands towards the forearms and lower. Lift the fingers up and lower and do that few times it will be a small movements of your fingers lifting on and off the mat and release that move back into all four find your neutral spine and while maintaining all four position think of bringing your wrist towards your knees and your knees towards your wrist so pulling everything in towards your center and you should feel the musculatures in your torso engage and breathe so wrist to knees knees to wrist keep that and extend your right leg to the back focus your gaze at a point breathe and add extending your left arm forward back onto all four knees to wrist wrist to knees and extend your left uh, left leg Stabilize and add your right arm back onto all four. Right leg, left arm, and this time bring your left elbow and right knee towards each other. Flex your spine, extend all four. Left leg, right arm knee to elbow, flex your spine, extend and lower, one more time, right leg, left arm, knee to elbow, flex your spine, extend, all four, left leg, right arm, exhale, flex your spine, knee to elbow, extend, inhale, exhale, all four. So, keeping that engagement in your torso by bringing your knees to your wrist and your wrist to your knees. Tuck your toes 
and hover your knees a few inches off your mat and even here still thinking of bringing knees to wrist and wrist to the knees keep your torso engaged and repeat extending the right arm uh, right leg sorry and left arm hold for one or two breaths and lower extend the left leg and right arm hold for two breaths and lower right leg left arm lower last one left leg right arm and lower drop your knees down and push back onto child's pose rest for a few breaths inhale come up and bring your folded blanket or uh, any cushion to create padding for your knee and place it close to a wall so the leg that is closer to the wall will you will step the foot forward and the other knee will be on the blanket or the cushion and position yourself about six inches away from the wall and the arm that is closer to the wall turn so that the palm is facing inward and you will circle that arm towards the back like making a rainbow without touching the wall Keep your sternum facing forward and then reverse the rainbow, bringing the arm forward and then rainbow the arm to the back and reverse rainbow forward, couple more. The goal is not to touch the wall and both arms by your side, tuck your tailbone in and extend your right, your right hip or the hip of the knee that is on the cushion. So you're lowering down while keeping the tailbone tucked in. And you may try bending the knee that is on the cushion and bring the heel towards your hips and see if you can reach and grab the ankle. If you can't grab the ankle, just extend your arms to the back and bring the hips towards the heel. Or bring the heel towards the hips. Sorry. And slowly release. Move back into 1990. Extend the front knee. The front uh, and shake the front foot. Make sure that the foot is relaxed. Tilt your tailbone this time towards the back. And with every exhale, slowly lowering yourself towards the front leg. Coming maybe onto your fingertips or your palms. And at your lowest, deepest forward fold. Stay for two breaths. Check that the front foot is still relaxed. Do not point or flex the foot. Mm -hmm. 
and inhale slowly come up bending the front knee and turn to repeat on the second side so the other leg will be closer to the wall this time and you will step the foot forward position yourself about six inches away from the wall the arm that is closer to the wall turn so that the palm is facing in and rainbow the arm to the back sternum facing forward not touching the wall and reverse the rainbow bring the arm forward and rainbow the arm to the back and forward couple more arms relax by your side scoop your tailbone in and extend the hips of the leg that is on the cushion so you are loading yourself forward stay for a few breaths and bend the back knee bringing the back heel towards your hips extend your arm back and see if your hands can reach and grab the back ankle if you can't just reach the arm back and bring the heel towards your hips one more breath slowly release come up into knees 90-90 Extend the front leg, shake the foot, make sure that the foot is relaxed and tilt your tailbone towards the back and with, with every exhale, slowly lowering yourself towards the front leg. Maybe come down onto your fingertips, your palms, maybe bending the elbows slightly, whichever position you are find your deepest fold for today and stay there for two breaths inhale to lift bend the front knee and bring yourself up and make your way back onto your mat if you have a yoga block handy, you will place it behind in between your feet and come into kneeling position. So squeeze the block, scoop your tailbone in and by doing so, feel that your legs and glutes engage, creating a nice stable base for you in this position. both arms up press the palms together or palms can be apart exhale side bend to the right lower the right arm by your side inhale right arm up torso to the center exhale side bend to the left lower the left arm and lift the left arm up as you inhale and move back to the center exhale side bend to the right right arm down inhale exhale to the left and to the right inhale to come up exhale to the left one more time to each side exhale inhale Exhale and inhale. 
and release your arms by your side for now. Interlace your fingers and place them behind your head. Check that your feet is still squeezing the block. The tailbone still scoop in. Take an inhale and exhale. Start to round or flex your spine and lower your head towards the mat. Inhale, slowly come up and extend or arch your back. Exhale, round your back, flex your spine, inhale, arch your back, extend your spine, exhale, looking towards your belly button, inhale, look up. Exhale. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. And return to neutral spine. Look forward. Float the arms by your side. Remove the block from between your feet. And let's come into a prone position. So come all the way down. Elbows under your shoulders. Hips on your mat for now. You take the block one more time and squeeze it in between your feet. This, uh, this is a good way to make sure that your legs are not going asleep. So point your um, feet, squeezing the blocks in between them. And press your tailbone, oh sorry, press your pubic, pubic bones down towards the mat. Elbows under the shoulders, palms down, fingertips facing forward. Sphinx pose. Press your head back and keeping the shape of your body, simply extend your right arm forward and right arm, right arm down, extend your left arm, left arm down, one more time with the right arm. and left arm, squeeze the blocks with your feet and both arms down. This time extend the right arm to the side and walk the right palm in and press the right palm against the floor so you are able to twist your um, upper body to the right but make sure that your um, pubic bone is still planted towards the mat so you are not lifting your pelvis up and stay in this twist for two more breaths and return back to the center this time extend the left arm to the side and slowly walk the left hand closer to you. Press the left palm against the ground and twist your upper torso to the left while keeping your pubic bone pressing onto the mat still and your pelvis stable. Squeeze the blocks with your feet. Stay in your twist for two more breaths. And 
slowly untwist, return back to the center. Kick the block away to the side for now. We are going to lift up into forearm plank. So tuck the toes. Inhale, lift the hips up, arriving in forearm plank. And shift your body forward and back by articulating your ankles. And back to forearm plank. And drop your hips to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, drop your hips to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hips to the right. Inhale, exhale, hips to the left. Inhale. And if you would like to try, bring the feet close together. Drop your hips to the right and stack the feet on top of each other. Inhale up, exhale, hips to the left, feet stack. Inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale and Drop all the way down. Stack your forearms and rest your forehead on top of your forearms. Inhale, lift your forehead up. Elbows under your shoulders. Prepare to return into forearm plank. So tuck your toes. Inhale and exhale to lift. And we'll progress into plank. So for those of you who are having wrist issue, any pain or discomfort on your wrist, you can opt to stay in forearm plank. Otherwise, check the location where you place your elbows and you will place your palms at the same location. So one at a time, replace your elbows with your palms and straighten your arms and arriving in plank position. Still pressing your head back. Do not let your head and neck hang down. You want to keep them active, looking towards the space in between your hands. And similar with the one we did at forearm plank, rock your body forward and back by articulating at your ankles. Breathe. and return to plank and this time lift your right leg bend the right knee and move shift your body weight forward flex your spine and bring your right elbow towards your uh, right knee towards your right elbow and step back bend the left knee body weight forward flex round your spine and left knee to left elbow right leg right knee to right elbow step back plank left leg left knee left elbow step back plank and drop your knees rest in child's pose for a few breaths Come up into all four. Extend 
your legs into plank. We will repeat the previous movements, but this time we will uh, bring the knee to the opposite elbow. So right leg, bend at the right knee, lean forward, right knee, left elbow, step back to plank, left leg, left knee, right elbow, step back, one more time, L right knee, left elbow, round your spine while you do that, plank, and then left knee, right elbow, and plank, and we'll do one more variation. You are welcome to drop and rest in child's pose, or if you would like to try, this time we will bring the foot to the opposite wrist, so inhale, bend the right knee, right foot towards the left wrist, step back to plank, left leg, left knee bend, left foot, right wrist, plank, right leg up, right knee bend, right foot to left wrist, step back, left leg up, left knee bend, left foot, right wrist, and plank, drop your knees, rest in child's pose. Inhale, press up into all four. Find your neutral spine, tuck the toes. Inhale, expand your ribs. Exhale, hover your knees above the map and push your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent for now. Breathe. Still pressing your head back. And straighten your left leg. And bring the top of your left foot towards your left chin. And bend the left knee, straighten the right leg and bring the top of your right foot towards your right shin and repeat one more time so this time right knee bend left leg straight drive the left heel down as you bring or as you push the top of your left foot towards your left shin And then switch. So right leg straight, drive the right heel down and push the top of the right foot towards the right shin. And downward facing dog, this time try straightening both knees and driving both heels down towards your mat. If this is feels too much for the back of your legs, you are welcome to keep a slight bend on both of your knees. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Keep your pelvis stable. We want to avoid tilting the right pelvis up this time. We want to keep them stable. So you might not be lifting the right leg really high up exhale right foot down inhale lift the right left leg this time and the goal is to keep the pelvis stable so check that your left side or pelvis is not tilting up stabilize the pelvis 
and bring the left foot down inhale right leg up this time open the right hip looking up from under your uh, right upper arm you can bend at the knee right knee and lower the right foot towards the uh, ground on your left inhale return to downward dog inhale left leg up this time open the left hip out to the side looking up from under your left upper arm bend the left knee and point and bring the left foot lower towards the ground on your right side inhale return back to downward dog drop your knees and rest in child's pose inhale press up onto all four tuck the toes inhale exhale press your uh, hips up and back downward facing dog this time walk your feet closer towards your hands so it's a shorter downward facing dog grab the outer side of your right ankle with your left hand and twist your torso to the right looking up from under your right upper arm and on the next exhale and twist and repeat on the second side so grab the outer side of your left ankle with your right hand and twist to the left looking up from under your left upper arm inhale to slowly untwist next we will lower the elbows down you can do that one elbow at a time or for some of you would like to try a challenge and attempt to lower both elbows at the same time and walk your feet closer and closer towards your elbows we are moving into dolphin and when you reach your maximum means which means you cannot walk any further in stay for two breaths Keep pressing with your forearm. And walk your feet back. And same thing. You can lift your elbows off the mat and straighten your arms one at a time. Or optional, you can try a challenge which is lifting both elbows at the same time. Back into downward facing dog and drop your knees rest in child's pose and since this is a vinyasa class we will now um, add all those um, asanas together into a flow so from your child's pose inhale press up into all four 
and extend your right leg to the back. The next exhale, bend your elbows. Keep your arms close to the side of your body and lower your chest in between your hands. Inhale, press up. And this is an optional thing you could uh, do, which is keeping the right leg lifted. Otherwise, you can keep both knees down and continue with the flow. So it's an optional challenge to keep the right leg up and extend it to the back. So tuck the toes and inhale, exhale to lift up and back into one-legged dog. And move into one-legged plank. Uh, remember, the one-legged variation is an optional challenge, so you can just come into a regular plank. And you will check the location where your palms are right now. And you will replace your palms with your elbows. Come into forearm plank or one-legged forearm plank. And replace the elbows with your palms coming into plank or one-legged plank. And turn your torso to the right side plank. You can stack your feet or place the top foot in front of the other foot. And for those of you who still have right leg up, hoist your hips and open your side plank. And step the top foot behind, bend the knee and bend the other knee coming into one arm tabletop lower your hips uh, lower your bottoms down place your hand behind your back inhale lift up into table reverse tabletop exhale lower we'll lift up and to tabletop one more time and some of you might want to uh, try lifting up with a straight leg so you will press your palms and your heels hoist your hips up and attempt to ground your toes onto your mat and bend both knees moving back into tabletop and this time lift your left arm up one arm tabletop extend the right leg and turn your torso to the left moving back into side plank on the second side so same thing you could stack your feet place the top foot in front of the other foot or if you are attempting the one leg up variation you will lift the left leg up open up your side plank and turn your torso to face down return back into plank or one-legged plank with like a left foot left leg up replace your palms with your elbows forearm plank or some of you will try the one-legged forearm plank return into plank push back one-legged downward facing dog or downward dog and drop your knees down 
and all of you now will have the left leg lifted and straighten towards the back bend your elbows keep your arms close to the side of your body as you lower your chest in between your hands inhale press up lower left knee back into all four take one inhale and exhale press back into child's pose and rest for a few breaths Inhale, pressing up and sitting on your heels. Grab one of the blocks if you have one, otherwise you will uh, lay down on your mat without the block behind your sacrum. If you, you are using a block, you will place the block uh, right behind your sacrum, like so. Come up onto, uh, oh sorry, come down into half corpse pose. So it's Shavasana with a uh, knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Block under your sacrum. And if you can position so that the, the block is slightly tilted and the side of the block is flush onto your sacrum. So find a comfortable setup. And once you are there, relax your arms by your side. Bring your chin closer to your chest, elongating the back of your neck. And we do a breathing exercise here start to down regulate yourself slowing slowing down your breathing you could close your eyes if you would like to that to do that So take an inhale, hold, and then sniff an extra inhale, and exhale, full, full long exhale, inhale, hold, and then sniff an extra inhale, exhale, long exhale. Inhale, sniff, and exhale. Inhale, sniff, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's repeat that three more times on your own pace. When you completed the breathing, lift your hips, uh, your pelvis off the blocks and remove the blocks from under your sacrum. Gently lower your back onto the mat. Extend your legs one at a time. Keep the feet apart about mat width distance. Arms by your side. Close your eyes if you haven't already. 
and return to your breath make a conscious effort to lengthen the exhale more than the inhale everything becomes quiet and still it's only you and your breath for now and finally give your body permission to rest Start to deepen your breathing. Inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. One more time. Wiggle your toes and your fingers. Shake your head side to side. Bring your legs together, raise your arms overhead, give yourself one big stretch and bend your knees, bringing your thighs towards your chest as you roll over onto your side and rest on your side, curling up and for a few rounds of breathing. Keep your eyes closed. Then press up with your hands. Come into easy seated position, opening your eyes. 
wiggle your hips find your sitting bones back into neutral spine arms up press the palms together make a prayer lower the prayer into the center of your heart thank you for joining me in this practice stay well and i'll see you next time namaste <laughs>